Today I'm going to make some really, really delicious pesto chicken. Okay, very, very simple. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit too simple, so it's nice to add a few of your favorites into it. Okay, so I've washed my hands, I've got my apron on. What I want to show you today, which I'm really passionate about, is using the correct boards. Um, green board is for what I call sort of smelly vegetables. So vegetables like onions and garlic and things like that. I would never use this for fruit, all right? And then when I cut up my raw chicken, I use a red board for raw and I use a knife which has got a red handle so I know that that's for raw meat. It's really, really important this. I'm, I'm afraid that um, lots of people are not doing it and it, it makes for cross-contamination, which is a, a bit of an issue. Okay, so super, super easy dish. I've, I've used one red onion and I'm going to use one normal onion. You could also use spring onions. That would be nice. And if you wanted to make it slightly more different, you could use um, some leeks, which would be nice as well. Okay, so that's how I peel my onion, just like that. I get rid of all of that bit. And I'm just going to chop that. So I'm gonna cut that in half. I'm gonna do my bridge and just give that a lovely chop like that. Okay, turn it over so you keep your hands up at all times, okay? And the same you can do with the red onion. I'm gonna use a pepper. I'm going to do my peppers into small pieces so that they cook evenly. Okay, that's the method. Remember, you keep the seeds onto the stalk all the way around like that. And then just make sure you chop up the peppers into even sized pieces. And then pop the onion and the pepper into a frying pan or into a casserole dish or a saucepan, all right? If you're doing a frying pan, remember you're gonna have quite a lot of sauce, so make sure um, that you've got enough space in it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna chop up my chicken. I'm gonna make my chicken even sized pieces. I'm on my red board with my red knife. As soon as I've done this, I'm gonna wash my hands because it's raw meat. And I'm going to make sure that I don't have any cross-contamination. Any bits of chicken which has got sort of bristle on it like that, I just get rid of that because that's not what you want in your dish. Okay, so to put this together, super easy. I'm just going to wash my hands quickly. So what you want to do is you want to cook down your pepper and your onion, pop it onto a heat. The next thing that's going to go in is my raw chicken, like that. Okay, remember to keep this separate. <laughs> Dropped a piece there, there we go. Right, okay, again, raw chicken, so give my hands a nice wash. Give that a mix get that going okay you don't need to brown the chicken at this stage because you're going to add the pesto sauce now the pesto sauce you can use green sauce or you can use red sauce it's completely up to you which one you would like to use okay and you can add more seasoning to it if you would like you could also sometimes if the pesto is very salty because i do find that these pesto jars do have a lot of salt in them, you can add yogurt or you could add some coconut milk just to take out that rather salty flavour. So all you want to do is give that a really good mix. If you like more sauce, you could add a tin of tomatoes, you could add, like I say, some uh, coconut milk or some yogurt. And you just want to cook that down until the chicken is really well cooked. Remember, never ever serve chicken um, that's pink or you can see any red in it, okay? Some other alternatives you could add is some chickpeas if you wanted to, 
and Tristan's favourite, sweet corn. Okay, so there you have it. That will probably take about 20 minutes to cook and you would serve that with, well, I think I would serve that with some very, very delicious pasta. Enjoy.